Yo, yo, what's the story? We're Clouda and Chriso. We just sold our kayaking business and bought a van. We want to live free and travel the world. Jump into this new adventure with us and let's vibe along the way. We are going over to David. We haven't seen our van in two weeks and we're going to take you guys along for the journey. Claude is going to give us a tour. I'll try. I'll try my best. So make sure you stay tuned. But first things first, we are hungry, so we're going to make some burritos. Nice! Lads. Yeah, let us know how you cook rice. Take a little sample every 10 minutes to <laughs> see if it's good or not. <laughs> yeah, we just want to like ask like what are people's thoughts on artificial intelligence? Like it's oh. it's really really it's starting to creep in everywhere. Like we're we're a bit like it's 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 scary. It's like scary. it is a bit scary. Like what I can do, and what it's able to do. You can type in like your vibe on music, and it'll make a track for you. Yeah. So it can write your thesis for you. I don't know if we should be saying this, but it can literally write a thesis for you for college. Yeah. What do you think about it? Do you think it's a scary thing that's going to happen in the future? Are you all in for it? Like you think we should we can use it like wisely and not let it overtake our lives or you know let us know in the comments Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> this is the hardest thing to do as well to roll a burrito i don't do it like you do it i do it this style and just hope for the best <laughs> So we're just on our way over to David now. Wherever we are in Gozo, it only takes like 10 minutes to get there. It's great, even though we're driving from one side of the island to the other. Oh, they're flying though. Yeah, it's a Sunday over here. Everyone like does their little family things on a Sunday. It's a nice day to drive around in Gozo actually. And yeah, when we get there, then we'll uh, we'll show you the van, show you the progress, and give you a little tour. Chloe's gonna do a tour. <laughs> <laughs> Cooktop's gonna go, so all the boiling and all is gonna be happening here. We just have a little bit of space now for chopping and stuff, and then we'll have my sink, the famous sink. If you have been following us, Fossey, you know the story about that. That's gonna live here. We have then just an upper cabinet here. All the electrical crap is gonna go out there, out of sight, and then probably have cups or whatever goes up there. So this is a little seating area. So I've claimed this seat here. No. Otherwise, yeah. This is my seat. We've seat yet, the we have yet to finalise that decision. It's, now it's finaled. Finaled. <laughs> um, they're going to be really cool LED strips along here over our heads. Yeah. And then Chris is going to sit there. We're going to have our table here. And then we've loads of storage then at the top. 
as well. What this area is going to do too, so the table is going to slip down. Then if we have a little sleepovers with anyone or whatever, they can lie down and their legs are going to actually stick out the bottom there, like that. This is our fridge, it's going to be in here. More storage and then more storage then in here. But I think I can fit in there. <laughs> I'm going to try fit you in there. Try it? Yeah, I, mean, I could definitely fit in here. <laughs> wow, what room? So this is actually Claudia's bed. <laughs> oh my neck. <laughs> and then that's gonna be my bed over there. So if we notice this little hole, we're gonna have our little doggo is gonna sleep behind here. But then we'll sleep up here. This is how I'll get onto the bed because I have little legs. <laughs> <laughs> I have so much room. Yeah, I know, you've got loads of room. I have like so much room. So, because we wanted a little garage thing for our wetsuits, because we're going to be surfing a lot, and when we go to the, the mountains, then we'll be snowboarding too. So, we wanted to just keep a drying area. So, I, I'll show that in a minute, actually. So, we had to sacrifice a bit of bed space. It's 120 centimeters this way, and then it's 1.9 centimeters this way. So, we just sacrificed that little bit of space. But I sleep on top of Chris anyway, so there's no stress. So obviously we had to go for the max air fan. <laughs> people sweat over these. All the camper van people are literally like yeah. sweat for these. So we got them. They better be good. Everyone's saying they're good. They better be good. So this is our garage. We go on big time adventures. We want to be able to have a lot of gear inside here. As well as we wanted to separate this half to the other half. So whenever we open up these doors, the heat will stay inside because we, we do plan on going up to up to the mountains and stuff like that to do snowboarding. Another thing, we want to be able to hang up some wetsuits too. So other than that, we're going to just store all the main components of the van. Electrical is going to go on the left here. Then what we're going to do over here on this side, we're going to store our water. We've got a 110 litre water tank. We'll sit our pump here as well, put our air heater for our boiler as well. We'll show you all these at a later stage. We're going to have our doggo basket here <laughs> and then we're gonna have a big humongous pull out adventure drawer yeah we put these arches here as well so it allows light to go in natural light to get in here so and then as well if we're parked up and we want to have a look at the back we can just open up the window have a little look outside and another thing me and Claudia can actually fit through the two of these so if something does terribly happen inside the van we can we can hop here open up the back doors and run away yeah another thing we're gonna have an outdoor shower that this is probably the shower that we use most often and um, we'll just probably hook it in here somewhere and then just have a little hook maybe we'll have a curtain at the back the indoor shower is going to be used then it's snowing outside or something when we can't get a shower or we just we just feel like having a shower inside so it's nice to have the two options we don't really mind showering outside either so it's all good then it comes to this um, little surprise so this is actually our shower and toilet. So this lifts off. So here we're going to do our poops, poops and peas. And then a curtain is going to come up like that and it's going to hook to here. So we can have a little a shower and stuff in yeah. here. Okay, dog. So that's our van pretty much we're two weeks into it now and we thought we'd give you guys a little look to see how we're getting on with it it's hard to believe that it's here like it's it's in like that's not going anywhere it's here to stay our yeah. house yeah this dream has been a long 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 time coming yeah, yeah. it has no, what, five years and there was so many times we like we nearly get there and then no like covid happened and then the war so there was no surprise, so things kept getting in the way. So it's yeah, we've got a guy fixing it up for us as well, like professional, has got the experience, and he's doing a proper, proper good job of it. Like we could never have done anything like this, <laughs> even thought about doing anything like this. <laughs> like this guy's got like half his life in carpentry, like, and it's just amazing he's doing this for us. Yeah, and the speed as well he's going to do. He's so yeah, he's going to do this in four weeks, which is like hard to believe. My goodness, four weeks. Sure, two weeks in and he has all the carpentry done. He just needs to put the, the doors on it and that's it. 
our next video we will go through all the different components that we're going to use and why we use them and why we think they're the best so make sure you tune in for that video like thanks so much for for watching all our videos we <laughs> really really appreciate it of it's class do. it's so nice to see people following and commenting too they're so sweet yeah and if you've got any tips or any ideas or leave comments in the section that'd be amazing like and if you guys could subscribe too that'd be so cool appreciate it i would really really appreciate it all right till next time peace peace